So I wanted to show off some transition effects here. And so what I have on here is a uh, transition effect that's the rotate crumple transition effect. So the transition effects have a target bitmap. And so what we've got on here is, is a tab control with two tab items on it. And the target bitmap is going to be the screenshot of the second tab item. So this is going to give me a transition between the two tab items. Now we do have an action that you can use to do the slide tab transition, but you know, there's a lot more transition effects than that. So let's take a look at how you do that with the different transition effects. So I'm going to run this. First of all, I'm going to point out that this is animated. Okay. Now watch when I hit switch, it's going to do the transition between the two. Now, normally you're going to have something on the screen that you're going to work through like a wizard, you know, a next button or something like that is going to cause the switch to take effect. But here I just have a button that does switch and watch, see that the animation continued. So we'll switch back. See that the animation still continues even while the transition is taking effect. So I can come in here. And it all is still there. So cool. Anyway, let's show you how this works. You can do this with any transition effect. Um, the swipe one has different behavior. You can do it with the swipe. Actually, the next demo shows you the swipe. But all the rest of the transition effects, I think, are going to work almost exactly the same. So in here, first of all, some transition effects have a random seed. This one does. If it doesn't have a random seed, then you can just ignore that line. What I do is I disable the transition effect. Then I set the apparent transition effect to the active tab. And the reason I do that is I only have one transition effect. So the other tab doesn't have a transition effect on it. So this transition effect jumps from tab to tab. Oops, I scrolled someplace. There we go. Enable the transition effect and start the float animation. So the float animation is on the transition effect and it targets the progress. So the transition effect, and like I said, most all of them except this swipe one has a progress on it. And all it's going to do is animate that progress, the value of progress from 0% to 100%. That's it. It has a on process event. In the on process event, what we're going to do is this is where I grab the screenshot of the tab we're moving to. So for on tab item one, then we get a screenshot of tab item two. And I grab that screenshot and then I assign it to transition effect one's target and then free that. So you got to make sure you clean that up if you don't, on at least Windows and OS 10, so that you don't link bitmaps. And then the reverse, if we're on tab item two, then we just get tab item one's screenshot. And when the fin when it finishes, that is when we actually change the tab. So it's not actually, the tab's not actually changed until the animation finishes, then the tab changes and the user on the new tab. That's it. That's all the, oh wait, one thing here, last in the show. Um, this is where I randomize the randomized, set the random seed. But also, until a tab has been visible, it's not, the bitmap's not fully rendered. So if you do this and the bitmap doesn't look right that you're moving towards when you do that make screenshot, do this here. And so what this does, it just changes the active tabs to tab item two and then back to tab item one. That way both of them have been visible and then it's able to grab a screenshot effectively. If you don't, actually, I'll just show you what this looks like. I'm not sure if this is a bug or not. I think it's just an optimization that it does so that it doesn't have that full screenshot in the background. See how the size is wrong? And then it drops back right. But see, once I've done that, once that tab's invisible, it works correctly. And so just simply here in the form show, you do this. This causes both those tabs to get fully rendered, and then you can do use the make screenshot to do the transition.